I haven't done this for a while. Been out early doors. I've got my glasses on the bridge of my nose because I've got woolly out on. Something got me up this morning. I don't know what it was. So I stoked the fire a little bit and um, I thought I'd get out and go for a walk. But it's great. I've reinvigorated myself. And what I've noticed coming up, because it was the ambient light was quite bright where I was about an hour ago. And um, as I moved away from the ambient light, it got pitch black. And it took my eyes a little while to get used to them, get used to the, the towpath. And at times the towpath was pretty dark with overhanging trees. And uh, so I had to almost feel my way through. A bit treacherous at times, but you know, it takes time. And then you get your, your night vision in. Now I'm, I'm up here, don't know where I am. I'll find out in a bit. I've seen the mist and I'm gonna get some good m photos and movie and all that sort of stuff. Now I've also noticed that there's various boats that have got fairy lights on the back of the boat. Quite bijou. And that's um, indicating, I suppose, to passers-by that someone's living in the boat, which is a good thing. Um, some have got fairy lights on the top of the boat. Some have got night lights on the boat. Some have got night lights that are on inside the boat. All these little nuances that I'm understanding that people do to uh, make passers-by realise that there's people on the boat. Bit of daytime chatter from the birdies. Don't know which type of birdie. I must download that app. Birdie app. It tells me tweets and things. in the birdie app I've set up the uh, my little microphone to film the birdies not to film them to listen to the sounds birds are stop tweeting Today, misty morning, but not cold. Lots of people using the towpath early oars, early doors. I saw three ladies going for a walk, and this fella running. I've seen a few runners, and uh, also a young man going to school, cycling to school at half past seven. That's a bit early, I thought. However, what needs must and all that, maybe he's going to breakfast club. They do that these days, don't they? Which is a good thing, because you need two people to go to work to get a mortgage. I can smell the wood coming from the boats, or the coal. Mmm, like that smell. It is nice. Well, there's a good little shot, look. In the distance, See if I can zoom you in. Don't know. 
Don't think so actually, it's too dark. Change your location away from them boats. That bridge actually looked quite good. In fact, different different positions with me taking these things. You've got overhanging branches, you've got a little bit of foreground interest, background interest, interest. He's at Tamor a bit far out, isn't he? Hey? Look at that. Good job he's got a long gangplank. All the kids stuff on the side of the towpath. Must be quite hard for families with small children. Keeping them occupied, keeping them warm, keeping them safe if they can't swim. I don't know, I don't know how people do it. I know there's that Holly narrowboat calf and they've got a small kid, small boy. But um, it must be difficult. I don't know if I could cope. Well, people do, I get it, people do. I don't know if I could, that's all I'm saying. Needs must and all that, and if, that, if that's your home, then that's your home, and then you make it work. But, a bit difficult, must be, must be difficult. Anyway, back to photos. Different position. This is a great mooring spot. However, you've got the acorns dropping from that oak tree. From a little squirrel, squirrel throwing them down there. You won't be able to see him, I've just spotted him. However, look at the silt on the side. What a shame. This is a great, great mooring spot in the countryside, in the woodland. Misty mornings. Can't park. This is what I come out and do a recce for because I think. No, there's not. No, there's not. What a shame. Let's wander back up here because this is a great little pound just for an overnighter. Stay away from this oak tree because you've got a uh, squirrel, a squirry squirrel throwing acorns. He's up there somewhere, oh, I know he is, look. And this is all too, too shallow. But you've got Arnco on the side here, so I could use chains instead of pegging in. All too shallow. Look at that. Look how shallow that is. See a brick there, look. Shallow, shallow, shallow. This is just exactly what I'm thinking of narrow boating. But you can't park. I reckon those two boats there have got the prime mooring spots for this pound. It's all too shallow here, look. Look at that. There, look. Deepening. It's de Ooh, this, is, this could be quite good. This is a good little spot, this. Oh, and it's deep. Oh, it's deep. This. So, point of reference. Tree before those boats. And the duck. It needs to stand still though, duck. You need to stand still till Sunday. I might move tomorrow. Ooh, brilliant. I'm, I'm going to look at this, see if the boat can stop. Well, I know it'll stop, but stop near the side. Can 
never really tell these days, can you? That's a shame. Great moorings this, CRT. I don't know how you go about cleaning that silt to get one of your best special wagons and great mooring spot. It's a shame, isn't it, eh? Anyway, moving on. I've been up since five. I've been awake since about half four. And you know in the mornings, faffing around, don't you? Faffing around trying to find things and creeping around keeping quiet. I don't know why I'm keeping quiet because I'm the only person on the boat. It just seems it's one of those things, for me at least, that night time you creep around and make less noise. Anyway, I've been outside for a cup of tea. Well, yeah. And what surprises me, I'm not too far away from Watford. I'm not too far away from Hemel, kind of in the middle between the two. The M25 bridge is just up the road there. And the amount of ambient light is quite low. So twinkle, twinkle, little star is not too far away, actually. Well light years away but you get the point you can see lots of stars which I'm going to go out and show you in a bit I have the lights that come on there's my bed bit of a mess at the moment It's a frosty morning and what what I was pleased about with the boat because you can see it here is that the insulation the foam insulation does its job all the windows you can see where the air creeps out because it's not well because there's window there however the only window I put a bung in was this one here bungs do insulate the boat quite well it's a short little trip I'm doing today up a couple of locks and the reason for that is well why not really why not it's a nice little trip 
But the lady's just gone past me and said the pound up up head is, is very low. And she was in a boat that was half my size, or near as damn it half my size. So it's one of those things I've got to contend with. But we're off on another trip. down so I'm gonna have to uh, you can stand it no more she ain't what you looking for oh, oh, baby. Oh, tell me you love. nice boat you got here next to my life yeah sounds good yeah. you've only got one of them haven't you yeah. Bag Sunday, I think it was. John the Baptist and his dog. Well, one of them anyway. We is a wide beam and all sorts coming up here. to do 
warmed up. Yeah, here we go. Quite like that actually. That was some um, good little trip that. So those of you who don't know the, the little dit about John the Baptist, he called himself John the Baptist because I thought his name was Tom. And he said to me, no, it's John like John the Baptist. And I said, well, here's the gag. I said, um, oh, what's the similarities between John the Baptist and Winnie the Pooh? He says, I don't know. I said, oh, they both got the same middle name. Now, those of you that have heard that gag before, because you watch Sandbag Sundays, won't be laughing now. But interestingly, I, when I met John, he goes, hello, Chris. I said, hello, John. Now, I've, I've met people that, two minutes later, I've forgotten their name. And this was two weeks later, and John says to me, hello, Chris. And I remember him. So it's that assimilation, what do they call it? It's mental, it's, it's well, whatever it is. I used to know all those terms when I was coaching, but um, not so much now. So a um, bit of photography, bit of early morning stuff, bit of canal life as the way, through my eyes at least. And um, well, there we go. That's, um, that's another Wednesday's vlog done. So if you've got this far, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, give it a go. You might miss something if you don't subscribe and it do this and it does that. I don't know what, what the YouTube does, but anyway, it does some stuff. And um, until, oh, there will be a um, Feed Me Friday, a bit different this week, because I'm not, yeah, anyway, I won't spoil it. So until next time, ciao, Papa.